welcome to Local 4's Four Things You Need to Know for Today. I'm Ian Mason. Today is October 7th, 2024. It is a Monday. Let's go ahead and get into the news for today. Breaking early this morning, shortly before 6 a.m., a two-story building exploded, causing a massive fire Monday morning in the town of O'Neill. The building reported to have exploded was, uh, according to KBRX Radio, is the St. Patrick's Parish Center, a two-story building on the campus of St. Mary's School. Classes have been canceled at St. Mary's Elementary and High School. Reports say the fire was under control within an hour. We are awaiting more information and have a reporter on the way. Stick with Local 4 as this story unfolds. And after a weekend full of fires, fire danger is continuing into this week. The National Weather Service issued a hazardous weather outlook for this afternoon, saying that humidity levels will remain below 20% for a lot of the region and that strong winds will continue. There is no chance for precipitation for at least the next week or so, so fire danger will be at a critical point. Many local governments are restricting burns. This all comes as fire prevention week started Sunday and last through Saturday. And today is the start of in-person early voting in the state of Nebraska. Mail-in ballots are still available uh, and to able to be received at your local election office. You will need a photo ID like a driver's license, and officials are also reminding everyone to fill in the ovals clearly on your ballot. More information can be found on our website. And construction of the Hastings Airport's new asphalt project begins today, and the project take about a week to complete. The four areas to receive asphalt surfacing include the terminal building parking lot, the fixed base operator building parking lot, the main gate on 12th Street, and the area around the snow removal equipment building, which is east of the terminal drive entrance and inside the fence. The project is paid for using American Rescue Plan Act funds. Let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast for today. It's going to be a cool day outside today, not quite as warm as we've seen over the past few days. Temperatures still in the 40s right now. We're going to see those temperatures bump up across the region over the next couple of hours. We'll see those temperatures maxing out somewhere in the mid 70s, maybe a low 80, depending on where you are. Tomorrow, we're much more likely to hit those 80s, though. We will be seeing uh, breezy conditions throughout a lot of this week, um, so do be ready that there is that fire danger possible, uh, especially as how dry we are. We're really not going to see any chances of rain for a long time. Notice we don't even have clouds most of this week, so we really are going to have to watch that fire danger over the next couple of days. Thank you for watching Local Four. Four things you need to know for today. I'm Ian Mason. Go ahead, join us again at 1130, as well as 5, 6, and 10 tonight for the latest news and updates on the situation. And, of course, our app will also be up to date with the latest news and information. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.